like I said, that just kind of springboarded everything. Well, you ended up going to Alabama out of high school, but you um, you were actually committed to Notre Dame. What kind of happened there? Why did you flip? Yeah, so at the time, uh, I had gotten, I think there was like three or four offers, like UCLA, Arizona was one of them. Uh, and I got invited to go to a Notre Dame game, and I didn't have an offer yet. And that was like a really – like a big moment for me because um, like, obviously, you know, Arizona and UCLA are, are great programs, but Notre Dame's like one of those like real pivotal programs. that's just been around forever and the traditions they have. So getting invited to go there and prior to uh, the USC game was my junior year. Uh, I met with coach Kelly. Like he brought me into the office probably two hours before the game, offered me a scholarship, you know, walk out on the field and, you're in Notre Dame stadium looking at touchdown Jesus. And uh, it was just very surreal. And it was like a, you know, Oh crap kind of moment when that was like the first like real deal, big time offer I got, which, you know, was four weeks after my first offer, <laughs> which is crazy to think about. Um, and that kind of just, it, it built up. I was excited about it. Um, and you know, I think uh, that led to the impulse decision of being like, I want to go here. And fast forward, I ended up going to another game. The second game I went to was a little bit closer to the end of uh, fall. So it was getting a little colder and it was like snowing sideways. <laughs> and, and it was funny because I was at a game on a Saturday and it was snowing sideways. The night before uh, I was playing a game in California and it was probably like 78 nice sunset <laughs> and the following day, you know, I'm at a cold game and uh, you know, I, it, it just wasn't for me, man. Looking back, I think it would have been a great opportunity, but um, it just didn't feel right at the time. And uh, you know, as, as I'm pretty sure everyone is aware, uh, 17 and 18, 19 year old kids aren't really pr uh, prone to making the best decisions. So um you know, uh, a lot of my choices were made off the of impulse and what I thought was the right thing at the time. And, um, you know, regardless of the choices, you got to live with them. And, uh, you know, what's been done has been done. But, yeah, I was I was really excited about that offer. And um, a good buddy of mine, Brandon Wimbush, ended up going there and having success. So I'm happy for that.